Here's another concept I want to go over real quickly. The term curse of the law. This is probably one of the most misunderstood terms in all of the Bible. Because what a Christian hears in his head is, the Torah is the curse. And that simply can't be right. Paul would never refer to the Torah itself as a curse. Paul spoke very highly of the law. The rest of the Bible speaks very highly of the law. Heck, Psalm 119 is the longest psalm in the entire book, and every single verse contains the word Torah or mitzvot in it, which means commandments. So what could Paul possibly mean when he says curse of the Torah? He's talking specifically about Deuteronomy chapter 28, which just lays out all the different punishments for breaking the law. That's the part that you are free from, because in Messiah Yeshua now you are found guiltless. And if you are found guiltless, that means that none of the punishments for breaking the law apply to you. You've been set free from that. Messiah paid your debt. So should we continue living in sin now that grace may abound? Heaven forbid. Why would you, who died to sin, continue living in it?